Uh, what I can tell you, however, is just um, before two o'clock, uh, we were dispatched to a structural collapse after a crane came down on the five-story residence uh, behind us, five-story residential building behind us. Um, right now, uh, what I can confirm is that we've had seven people uh, taken to the hospital, or seven people who have suffered injuries. Uh, four of those people have gone to Parkland Hospital, and the other three have gone to Baylor. Uh, right now, we have two people who were listed as critical, uh, three who suffered serious injuries but were not critical, uh, one person who has in fact been discharged from the hospital already and one person who's been confirmed uh, deceased. Um, right now, what we can tell you is that the building itself has suffered uh, multiple collapses in different areas uh, of the building to include residential spaces as well as the parking garage. Uh, right now, our number one priority is the living area on the easternmost side of the building uh, where it appears um, that all five, five stories at, at some point inside the structure have collapsed. This is the same area in which the deceased person was discovered. Um, our second priority is, is the parking garage. Uh, right now, every single level um, of the parking garage in part uh, has collapsed. We have multiple vehicles reported inside that collapse zone. Um, of course, we, we have no idea at this point uh, whether any people were in those cars or just in that parking garage in general. In general, sorry. Um, our third priority is the remaining living spaces on the westernmost side of the building. Uh, the majority of those units uh, do not appear to have suffered any significant damage, uh, even though pieces from the crane did break off and impact some of those living spaces. Uh, we have areas that we were not able to conduct primary or secondary searches on um, out of concern for the safety of our first responders. Uh, we have three live fine dogs on scene who are going to go inside um, and try and ensure to the best of their abilities uh, whether there's anyone still in there alive or deceased or otherwise. Um, at this point, most of the people, if not all, who have been evacuated from the building are located over here next to us in the Latino Cultural Center. Um, as I said before, the situation is still developing. Uh, we have a lot of um, unknowns at this time. A lot of the figures that we've provided uh, may change, and we will provide you the updates you need going forward as soon as they're available to us.